Hi, Keep Peeps. Welcome to this month's new release report. Last month was March. That means it's the end of the quarter and we have tons of new features and functionality that we are sending your way. First up for our Mac Classic users, it is going to be easier than ever for you to get your work done when you're doing searches and looking at reports. We have improved functionality and usability across searches and reports in Max Classic. For our Lite Pro and Max users out there, wow, we've got tons of new features and functionality across the entire app. We've got new styling and templates in the Forms Builder. We have recurring invoices, multi-outbound calling on the KBL, and brand new automations and easier ways to view your contact records. All right, sit tight and get excited for this month's new release report. If you want to jump ahead, just click on those timestamps below in the description. Here's Michael. He is our new release report expert, and he's going to show you everything that we released in Keep last month. Hey everyone, let's start by taking a look at how easy we've made it to select multiple contacts or report results. You're used to having to click each one individually, but I've got great news. That's not how you have to do it anymore. Now you can click one item, hold your shift key, and then click another item, and everything in between those two items will be selected. In addition to that, you can now choose to select all of your results or only the results on the page that you're viewing. Next, let's go down to the bottom of a contact search or of your report results and look at the page options. Um, we've really cleaned these up to make them more intuitive. Now you can quickly jump to a different page or you can use the arrow buttons to quickly go forward or back one page. We've also made it easier to customize your reports and search results. You can now drag and drop columns to reorganize them. You used to have to click an up arrow to move things up every single spot, but now you can just drag it, drop it into place. Adding fields is easier too, because now I can search for the exact field I want, click it, and then I can drag it just like the other ones to reorganize it. And then just like that, I've reorganized the columns on my search or on my report. And one last update that will help you find the information you need in your searches or reports is this new filter for tag category. I can filter my results to show contacts that have any of the tags, all of the tags, or even ones that don't have any or don't have all of the tags. And the tag category filter works just like your tag filters. You can either select items from the list, or you can search for them as well. Lead capture is the crucial first step in your business process, and we're making it easier for entrepreneurs to create great looking forms and capture more leads. One way we're doing that is with our new form templates. When you create a form, you'll be able to choose from a template, which you can then use to start building your form. We'll include different fields based on the template you select. Now you can rely on our templates, which cover the most common types of forms that businesses create for when you don't know where to start. You can then customize the form to make it fit your business. And we've redesigned our form builder to break it out into three steps and give you more control over your form. You can now choose to display your company logo or remove it. You can set the page background for when you're embedding your form on a page. And you can also make changes to your CTA or submit button. So you can choose the button background and text color along with its alignment on the form. We've also got all the information for when you publish your form in one place, whether you're going to embed it on your website or use the host to keep page. In order to improve the performance and usability of the companies list, we're dividing the list into pages with 50 companies on each page. This will help ensure that your list is easy to navigate and you can find exactly the company you're looking for. If the lead, client, and other contact types haven't been an accurate label for your contacts, I have great news. You can now remove these labels. Keep in mind that as you update your contacts, your clients and leads list will automatically update as well. But don't get carried away with spring cleaning because we'll be bringing more functionality to these contact types over the course of the next year. Now it's easy to find contacts that are missing key information, like a phone number or an email address. To do this, just create a filter where the email address or phone number field is empty. Keep will return a list of all the contacts that meet that criteria so you can follow up with them to fill out that contact record. Tasks created in the Advanced Automation Builder can now include task outcomes. 
These outcomes are available to select on the task page and can be used to trigger more automation. For example, this follow-up needed outcome could be used to trigger automation that will create a new task for me reminding me to follow up again with my customer. All right, you've got your leads organized in the contact record and it's time for follow-up communication. The Keep Business Line and mobile app are key for keeping in touch with your leads and clients. And now you can enable up to five Keep mobile app users to make outbound calls from your Keep Business Line instead of only one user being able to make calls. This allows for greater team collaboration and increased productivity when communicating with clients through the Keep Business Line. This new feature is great for entrepreneurs with virtual assistants, sales teams, or businesses with partners that handle communications. You can add additional lines in the phone number settings on your mobile app. Finally, it's time to get paid. We know how important it is for you to get paid and sending invoices is a crucial step. So we're working hard to improve the flexibility and options of how you can send your invoices to clients. You can now create invoices that set up recurring payments when your client pays the first invoice. You set up the recurring schedule, send the invoice to your client, and then collect payment. And that's what kicks off the automatic billing in the future. Recurring invoicing is a huge benefit to consultants, coaches, and other entrepreneurs who sell subscription plans to their customers. Recurring invoicing, unlike recurring payments, doesn't require that you, the business owner, have your client's credit card information on hand. And now for something small that could have a big impact for you. You can now rearrange your dashboard widgets. This allows you to put the information most important to you and your business right where you need it. Thanks, Michael. That was quite the new release report. If you guys missed anything, check out this recap on your screen. And if you need more help, there's links in the description below. All right. Thanks for stopping by. We can't wait for next month. We've got really exciting new things coming out. We've got brand new integrations with HelloSign and MailChimp. We've got, of course, new automations coming your way. We've got group messaging on the KBL and the ability to send an invoice to a company, which we know you have been asking for and it's going to be a big hit with a lot of our users thanks for stopping by we're excited and we will see you next month bye